today we're going out to the beach to explore the rock pools in Paul. I was going to say snakes, I've got a one track mind, but for rock pool creatures and tide pools and alien creatures and all those kind of things. <laughs> When the tide pulls out, it exposes these beautiful rock pools, making it perfect for us to go out and find all the little alien creatures that inhabit them. So right here, guys, you can see there's so many cool, beautiful tide pools. It looks absolutely perfect for some tide pool creatures. So I'm going to traverse all this horrible terrain here, and let's see if we can find some cool little creatures. I'm really excited, so let's get going. Let's not waste any more time. Looking through tide pools is always exciting, but for me, I'm looking for a tide pool that's got a nice set of rocks, that way I can flip them up and see if we can find anything cool underneath. So this spot here has got some nice rocks inside here, which is absolutely perfect because these little tide pool creatures will actually hide under the rocks in these awesome spots here. So just by gently lifting these rocks and investigating, we might be able to find something really cool. We've got to be very gentle. You don't want to destroy the habitat and destroy their homes. And also, there might be some stuff stuck to the rock. So if you flip it and just drop it back down, it can cause some serious damage. And we do not want that by any chance. As I'm flipping these rocks here, we find our first cool little creature. Let me see if I can get him off here for you guys. First cool little find. Look at that, going all over my hand here. This right here is a little flatworm. It looks so bizarre. Look at that in the water here. Literally flat as crazy as that. And they've got these two little sensory organs sticking up there. You can see it just a little bit. I'm trying to hold him in the water. So that way he can actually be a little bit more comfortable than if I hold him out of the water. But look how creepy that is. They literally look like aliens. Look at the way it moves. That's insane. That is so cool. I absolutely oh, I absolutely love finding these guys. They're so unique. Look at the colors on them as well. Very bizarre. And they can swim through the water in a very unique like motion, which is really cool to see. But let's not disturb this guy anymore. Now, how do I get him off like this? I mean, I've got one hand on the camera, one hand on him. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to flick you off gently. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, big guy. He's like in a spot I can't reach with my fingers. How do I do this? I'm going to have to kind of swirl my hand in a circle like this. Damn it, you're still on there. All right, maybe let's put him in a better spot here. Maybe we can encourage him to go off onto one of these rocks in the shade here, but hopefully he'll leave my hand because I clearly cannot take him off by myself. There you go. Oh, that's so cool. Love it. We've got one alien sea creature down, but I'm sure there are many more amongst these tide pools. So we're gonna keep on searching to see what else we can find. There you go, now we got a nice alien here. This is pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna bring him over to you guys. Take a look at this, guys. Nice little banded sea star. So cool, check how long those legs are. I don't wanna keep him out the water for too long, so I'm gonna put him like this. But he looks so cool, I mean, it literally looks like an alien. How insane is that? Look how they pull themselves over. Now they're not like the normal starfish where they have those little coned feet. Like for example, you see this little cushion star here. If we flip him upside down, you can see right there, there's those little coned feet. They use those to suction onto the, the rocks here. But this guy's kind of locomotion. It's a little different. He uses those long legs, grabs on, and he moves off. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. How amazing is that? All right, I'm going to put this guy back under a rock here. And then let's move on and see what else we can find. <laughs> That's a pretty one. So here on the beach here is absolutely awesome. If you're looking for shells, I mean, there's so much diversity out here. It's so cool. And there are shark teeth and all sorts out here. I mean, look at this one. This one's really cool. So stunning. That is awesome. But I mean, finding shark teeth amongst all of this is really difficult. I mean, you can see even Jenna's finding some cool stuff here. So, I mean, some people, what we like to do is we collect them put them in like little jars and fill it up with water and it keeps them clean and it always looks so decorative to put in your bathroom or something like that and there's so much to spare I mean obviously like this right here might be like a hermit crabs five-star hotel so you definitely want to leave some for nature around you because they are useful that's so cool that one's really cool but some of them are really really stunning especially the cowrie shells and stuff like that so cool and I mean like look how beautiful that one is there like I can do that and I'm like the little mermaid 
absolutely perfect. There's so many cool shells out here. But let's get back to the typo creatures. But before I got back to looking for typo creatures, I had a bit of an ADHD moment here because of the scenery. I mean, look how beautiful this place is. I mean, how could you not get distracted here? Right, this isn't a typo creature, but check this rock formation out with that view there. Absolutely perfect. I mean, this must be a photographer's daydream right here, but check this out. It's like a natural pull up bar right here. Hook your hands into it. That's it. Woo! Got a gym by the beach. Can't complain about that. Maybe put a tent out under there. That'd be pretty damn insane and the sun's in my face. <laughs> How cool is that guys? So we're challenging Jenna, my camera lady, to do a pull up on the rock just as I did now. It's her turn. And Jenna's pretty strong. She works out quite well with me. So we're gonna see if she can do this. All right, get a good grip there. That's the stuff. And Dude, that's insane. Oh, and a second. Jeez. Yeah, we don't mess around with her. She'll beat you up. <laughs> All right, guys, this is really cool. Check this out. All right, big guy. This right here, guys, is a sea anemone. See how cool that is? These right here are tentacles all the way around. Check that. When I touch, you kind of reacts to them. Oh my god! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> these guys don't actually sting. They can sting smaller creatures, but my skin's a little too thick for these guys. But there are species out there that can definitely sting an adult. Now, I'm not going to take him out the water because obviously that's not going to be very good for him. So I'm going to keep him right here where we can talk about him. You can see what happens to these tentacles. They sting and they pull everything towards them and they kind of extract them out of their shells. So something like this, for example, which is a little periwinkle, see there he goes, sucking in. These guys will pull them right out there. This guy goes around the rock, hooks right over there, he'll sting them, and he'll pull them right out their shells, and he'll suck them into this base here, and he'll chow them up. Quite a unique alien animal. Absolutely love these guys. And this one's quite small. They get pretty big. I mean, if I put this guy down, I mean, you get some about this size. Depending on the species, you can get even bigger ones, depending on where you are in the world. Super cool. I'm going to put him back here. He clearly chose the spot for a reason. That is damn cool. All right. So, type ball creatures don't end right here. Check this out. This is a little hermit crab. Check that, like, algae on him. That's so cool. He probably, it's probably an old shell he's picked up. You can see he's hiding in there. If I put him in the water, yeah, maybe. Maybe we can convince him that I'm not here. All right, big guy. Is he going to come out? Maybe. Maybe this here will be a better spot. He knows his natural terrain much better than I do. Here he is. Here he is, hi big guy. Oh my god, he's so cute. Look at those eyes. Even his legs have got algae on them. Look at that. Oh, you wheel spun. That's unfortunate. You can do it, big guy. I believe in you. Should I help you? Are you getting stage fright? What's going on? There you go. Atta boy. That is so cool. He's quite a large one as well here. I mean, look at that. Look at that pincer right there. That's a big boy. Kind of reminds me of that guy from Shark Tale. You guys ever watch that movie? With the hermit crab in the bins there? That stuff was hilarious. All right, now we're gonna head over the rock. See if there's anything up here. There are actually some reptiles out here, which is pretty cool. And there's a reptile right here. Check that, a gama right there in the shadows. That is cool. Let me drop my bag. Let me see if I can get him. I gotta be very quick because they're fast as heck. Oh, no! Whoa! <laughs> Look at him! And he's gone. That was insane. A beautiful rock agama. Just like that, he's gone. So, I think he'll beat me again. I think he knows my tricks. And I've got a good two meters between him and I. Hey, big guy. Agama Archer. Let's see if I can uh, get close enough for the catch here. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Hi, big guy. Actually, you know what? You're being really cute. I'm not going to catch you. Look at that, guys. Right there, guys, is the Rokogama, Southern Rokogama to be specific, aka Agama Artra. He is beautiful. Look at those colors right there, big guy. He might run off any second. They're like our versions of bearded dragons here in South Africa. Really cool. And you can see they're very agile on these rocks, which is exactly why I couldn't catch him. But that's really cool. I mean, if I don't have to catch him, that's fine. Normally, I just catch them because that's the best way to get a good close-up of them on camera for you guys. But I mean, I got really close there, so 
I mean, that works for me. He's, he's watching me. <laughs> he's like, I know what you did. I saw you earlier. <laughs> he remembers me. Oh, shame, man. That's pretty cool, though. All right, guys. Sad news. My camera battery is about to die, so I'm going to have to say goodbye to you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really had a good time, and I hope you guys enjoy it, too. If you do, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.